Uh, we're going to get baseball today, which is very exciting. A five-hour rain delay is a little bit of a difficult spot, I would think, for a ball player. How do you spend it, especially if you're a pitcher? I well. You know, you eat a couple of times. Yeah, whatever you have. So for what breakfast. we did, basically. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> Four lefties, five righties against the right-hander Corbin Burns, who retired the final 16 in his Oriole debut. Well, yeah, you know, other than a slider to one of the better players in the game, Mike Trout hit a solo home run. That was the only hit. Struck out 11, seven on curveballs. He was magnificent. Did everything you expect from somebody that you figure is going to lead your pitching rotation. Mm. And a low cutter at the knees, strike three at 96. Well, perfect uh, two strike pitch, perfect pitch just in general. Bobby Wood Jr. digs in against the righty Corbin Burns. Slice toward right center field. Mateo darts into the gap, dives, can't make the catch, and squirts behind him. Went rounds first, takes off for second, he gets there standing. Mateo plays it back in quickly after recovering. It's a double for Bobby Wood Jr., his third of the season. And the Royals have a runner in scoring position with only one out. Vinny Pasquantino steps to the plate. Bounces in, kicks away from McCann. Witt takes off for third, and he gets there standing. And ricocheted off McCann's chest protector up the first baseline. That's a wild pitch from Corbin Burns. And now Bobby Witt Jr.'s at third. Pasquantino bounces it back to Burns. He snares it, throws home. Witt's caught in a pickle between third and home. Throw back to third. Urias runs Witt toward home. Throw to Burns, chasing Witt back toward third. Throw to McCann, now chasing Witt back toward home plate. He fakes a throw. Now goes over to Mountcastle, who finally tags Witt out about five feet before home plate. And heads up base running for Vinny Pasquantino, who got all the way to third. And now Witt scrambles back and touches home plate. Matt Quatrero has come out of the third base dugout to talk to the home plate umpire Paul Clements. And Q is saying that Witt was never tagged or he was impeded from going to home and that should be obstruction. At least that's the read that, that I'm getting. And Q's pretty fired up and wants Paul Clemens, the home plate umpire, to make some sort of call. And right now he's refusing to do so. The crew chief, Brian Onora, has come down from the third base coach's area to become a part of the conversation. And Matt Quatrero is pointing and yelling. Clemens has walked away. Hughes getting a long leash here, as he should after a five-hour delay. And now he's headed back to the dugout, really frustrated. And so there are two outs in the top of the first inning. Pasquantino made it all the way to third. Again, heads up base running for him. And now Salvador Perez steps to the plate. Breaking ball lifted. Shallow left field. Henderson got turned around. Sprints back. It's over his head. It plops in for a base hit. Pasquantino scores. Salvador Perez comes through with a two-out RBI single. And after a five-hour rain delay, the Royals strike in the top of the first. It's 1-0 KC. It's left-hander Cole Reagan's turn to take the hill. He makes his second start of the 2024 season after he was the Royals opening day starter last Thursday. Through six innings, a two-run ball. Yeah. Big hop to Salvi, and Reagan's will just get to the bag in front of Henderson. And now Adley Rutschman steps to the plate, switch hitter batting right-handed. Rutschman pops it up, shallow right field. Frazier ranges back. Renfro comes in, and it's Renfro who makes the catch right next to Frazier. Two outs. Fastball bounce right back to Reagans. He snares it on the mound, jogs toward first, underhand toss to Salvi in time to get Mountcastle, and that ends the inning. No two-out issues in the bottom of the first tonight. Bobby Witt Jr. leads off the third inning against this talented right-hander, and a swing and a looper into left field. That'll drop for a hit. He's two for two. So Bobby Witt Jr., a leadoff hit. See if he wants to do some running here. Bobby takes off. Pitches a strike. Throw down is late. What a jump by Bobby Wood Jr. Head first slide. He's way ahead of the throw with Henderson, his fellow shortstop, taking that throw. And Bobby has his second steal of the year. And I'll bring up Salvador Perez. See if he can drive in at least another here. Runner at second is Bobby Wood Jr. Curveball is lined the other way into right field. A base hit. Bobby's coming around third base. Here comes the throw home, and the throw is cut off. Bobby scores sliding feet first, and the Royals double their lead. It's 2-0 after an RBI hit by Salvador Perez. Second hit of the night, second RBI of the night. 2-0 KC. Jorge Mateo is their center fielder tonight. Right-handed batter. Stands in for the first time. Faces Cole Reagans. Back to work here in the third inning. Uh, called strike three. Got him looking. That's his third strikeout. That fastball buzzing in there at 98. Three strikeouts for Cole Reagans, who has not allowed a base runner as of yet. Swing and a chopper up the third baseline. Behind the bag, it's Garcia. Long throw across, and Salvi makes the play on the other end. 
two up two down in this Baltimore third inning and the number nine hitter right handed inning Ramon Urias will stand in tapper back to the mound glove by Reagan spins fires to Salvi at first for the out nine up nine down for Cole Reagan's we go to the fourth two nothing KC and of the nine outs that Reagan's has reported eight of the nine have been either a strikeout or a ground out Freddie is on it and throws him out. Wow, so you know you're, you're seeing a lot of toppers like that, little ground balls. The three plays back to Reagan's already. That, that tells you that they are fooled on the pitch, and that's all they got is a little foul tip, little, little bouncers in front of the plate. Here's Adley Rutschman. He's 0 for 1, much like everybody else. Rutschman lines it into left center field, down in the gap of base hit. Melendez can't cut it off. Isbell does. He flings it towards second. Rutschman slides in safely ahead of the throw of the double. The Orioles have their first base runner. They have their first hit. And it comes from their superstar, Adley Rutschman. So Cole Reagans is perfect no more. But the one hitter is still intact. Flair toward first. Salvi catches the sinking liner. Stares towards second. Nobody covered in time. Rutschman scampers back. All reaction from Salvi at first. He caught that around his shoe tops. And there are two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Now Anthony Santander bats. Got him swinging. Strike three. Fastball pumped right by him at 98 miles an hour. That is four scoreless innings for Cole Reagans. That is four strikeouts of the Baltimore Orioles. And we're off to the fifth at Camden Yards. Well, Burns has never, in his 107 previous starts, has never struck out fewer than three batters. And he struck out two in the first inning today, and none since. And he throws a breaking ball here, and Fermin could not hold up. And there, finally, is Corbin Burns' first strikeout since the first inning. So Burns will exit on a high. Did his best to limit the damage despite all of the base runners. Five and two-thirds, two runs. And it's going to be the top of the Royals lineup to lead off this seventh inning. Well hit right field. Santander is back, and Michael Garcia has hit three home runs. He hit his third home run last year on July the 3rd. It is April the 3rd, and that's his third home run of the season. Back-to-back -back walks to start the seventh for Cole Reagans. The batter now Santander, who already has two homers on the year, will stand in representing the potential tying run. And a swing and a miss. He strikes him out with a changeup. Number seven on the night for Cole Reagans for the first out of the inning. Matt Quatrero to make a pitching change. What a night for Cole Reagans. The whole infield will come in for this mound visit. As Q gets to the mound, takes the baseball. Pitching change in Baltimore with the Royals leading 3 0. First and second, one out for the big right hander, James MacArthur. Swing and a grounder toward the middle. Bobby to his left has it. He'll flip to second for one out. But what a play by Bobby to get to that ball. Going to do a little dive on that muddy track behind second base. Get to the ball and do a little flip to the second baseman covering over there, Frazier, to get an out at second base. And now they're at the corners with two down. But that saves a run by keeping the ball from getting to the outfield. Cole Reagan's wearing a hoodie, watching from the dugout now on a cold night. 0-2. And a breaking ball, swing and a miss, he went around. And Freddie will lay the tag on the batter runner, and that's a strikeout. What a job by James MacArthur. A ground out and a strikeout to keep Baltimore off the board. Colton had two of the Orioles' three hits yesterday, both doubles. And Kowser off the end of the bat, fading fast into center field. He's got another hit. So the leadoff man is on for a second straight inning. James McCann. And McCann smacks it deep to left field. Hampson's not going to get there. That ball is off the wall, and Kowser will make it to third. McCann with a McDouble against MacArthur. And here comes the tying run again with nobody out. Right there. Left center field. That ball slicing away. Isbell got a good jump. It will bring in the first run of the game. Kowser scores on a sacrifice fly. So the shutout is shattered on a Henderson sack fly. And it's three to one. Still have a chance for Adley to drive in the second run, maybe do more. Adley makes it a big timeout bat indeed. Right field that gets the Orioles within one. He'll dig it out for two, and he is oh, out wow. at second there. Oh, they got him! Hunter Renfro from the right field corner unleashes a rocket all the way to second base. Bobby picked it out of the dirt, slapped the tag on Rutschman, and that ends the inning. An incredible throw from Hunter Renfro. One of the best ever.
That was insane. The run does score. It's a one run game at Camden Yards. Well, it's all on James McCann's shoulders now. Two out, bases loaded in the ninth. McCann, left side, base hit. Mountcastle ties it. Mullins will win it. James McCann gives the Orioles their second walk-off win in three nights. Worth the wait.